Okay, folks, Chef Jesse here now. Good, how are you doing? Everybody? doing a Monday evening, start of the week. The weather's getting better, but I don't trust it. It's kind of cool, still cool out there, actually. But I don't trust the weather for shit because I don't trust Mother Nature because she's she's acting up. So anyway, folks, today we are going to do something that you find in there. A lot of people don't know what it is. It's called patty melt. And people all the time, I, even me, I used to go to diners and go, what the hell is a patty melt? Well, I looked it up, and now, you know, with, with YouTube and everything, like that, shows you how to make patty melt. It's basically a marriage between a grilled cheese and a burger. But the patty is, the, the meat is flattened down to very thin. And it's put into a, two pieces of sliced bread. You can use rye bread. You can use, uh, you know, whatever, any kind of good bread sliced. And it, it's a grilled cheese. It's a grilled cheese with hamburger, meat, patty, whatever you want to call it. In it. Strange, right? But that's the way it is. It's, you find it, it's, like, it's, always, it's always on the kids' uh, menu. It's always usually on the kids' menu in diners. So that's what a patty melt is. And actually, Sonic has a version of patty melt. And they, they, they have actually a double layer, which I'm going to attempt today. So I'm going to make the, the layers thin so that it can fit two layers and it won't be like huge. So I'm going to make it as flat as possible and make a double decker one with onions. That's the magic. The onions is the magic. I'm going to cook up the onions and make them nice and soft, break them down. And it's going to be in there. So it's, it's again, a marriage between a grilled cheese and a, and a cheeseburger. I'm going to be using provolone. You can use American. You can use Munster cheese. You can use different. Uh, today, I just chose to have provolone because it gives it a little distinctive flavor. So that's a patty melt. And that's what we're having today. And we're going to have some tater tots. So it's going to look like a children's uh, menu or like a lunchroom, diner, whatever. Anyway, folks, stay with me. And I'm going to start preparing my meat. I have uh, some nice meat here, 80%, uh, is it? 80% lean, 80% lean. Uh, I smell it, it's not bad because my supermarket sells rotten meat. Uh, yeah, they do. Three times I've taken this meat back. Not this particular one, but at different occasions, rotten meat. So Seatown sells rotten meat. And I'm, I could tell you, and I will tell you again, and I don't care if they see me in this video, you people sell rotten meat. Because I've returned three packs of these at different times. So what I do now, easy. I make a hole. I make a hole and I smell it. If it smells funny, burp, I throw it back in. Let them sell it to somebody. Let them take it out. If And if they catch me making a hole, I say, well, if it's good, I'll take it. If it smells bad, then it shouldn't be sold. Right? So that makes sense. I'm not damaging anything. I'm just smelling the meat. Because if it's bad... I'm not going to let anybody else take it and, and, and take it home. I'm not. So, call me whatever you want. So anyway, <clears throat> folks, I'm going to season up this meat. And you're going to be with me as I season it up, prepare it, put some seasoning in it, make it nice, flavorful, and then we're going to put it together. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, so I'm going to start preparing my meat, and I'm going to start off with, uh, let me see. Let's start off with, uh, you guys see that? That's my meat. I've got about, what? A, this is about, uh, one pound uh this is more than a pound i don't know it looks like more than a pound 1.89 pounds whatever the hell that means well i'm gonna be using about one cup of uh i, I like to use uh breadcrumbs because the breadcrumb softens up the meat it just softens it up and, and you don't get that big meat there like like a brick okay so i like to mix it up with breadcrumbs that's just me Okay, so I used about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, almost a whole cup. I'm going to be using some salt and pepper that I mixed up together. This is about a, a tablespoon. And some onion powder here. Okay. And some garlic powder. This is about a teaspoon and a half. I love garlic, so I'm putting it in. So, okay. So, we got that mixed in. And this is basically what I'm going to put in. Nothing fancy. This pepper strong. Ooh, makes me want to sneeze. Ugh. Yeah, this pepper is getting to me. This pepper uh, I bought is very powerful. I don't know where the hell this pepper is coming from, but every time I use this pepper, I want to say, oh, so I mix it up real good, okay? Ready to mix it up in there. Let me just run some water here, just in case. Uh, okay, so I mixed everything up in there. Now I'm going to start making them, building them into patties, okay? So let me wash my hand here, just to have my hands kind of wet, moist, so that, uh, so it doesn't the meat doesn't stick right. I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these patties as flat as possible. So uh 
me uh okay so now i'm going to take my meat and i'm going to uh let me see i had a something before that i used to use to uh can you see this to measure them but we'll see we'll, we'll use a plate so i'm getting all the air pockets out of it and now i'm gonna this is a pattern for burger i'm gonna use this plate here and i'm gonna flatten it out as much as possible it's gonna to stick to the bottom of the plate, okay? So what I'm gonna do, okay, this is good. I'm gonna get this out. I'm gonna, this is like we making a pizza. I'm gonna make this as flat as possible, because I wanna make these flat, you know, like really into a thin patty. Doesn't have to be perfectly round, okay? I wanna press this, I wanna make it as thin as possible. I'm gonna be using two patties for each. I'm gonna make, the, I wanna make these double decker. So I wanna make these as thin as possible without breaking the meat. Okay, there you go. Spread it out. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now you gotta be careful. Um, you can use a spatula. Let me get use a spatula to get these thing. Uh, okay, there we go. So, there we go. Okay. It's pretty thin, right? Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna make a couple of these patties. And this is gonna become my... You remember, allow it to, you know, it's gonna shrink a bit. So I'm going to make these as thin as possible, and then I'm going to start making... So I'm going to make more of the patties, and I'll show you when they're done. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, so I got about eight, nine patties out of this meat, and I'm going to show you. Here, it looks like this. I put wax paper in between. Okay. So they're, they're thin. You can see right there, they're nice and thin. And remember, they're going to get... You know, when you cook them, they're going to shrink, so they're going to shrink more. So if they, if they look big, don't worry about it, it's going to shrink. Okay, so let's put these on the side here. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the side. You can put it in the fridge if you want, but I'm gonna cook. So I'm gonna start cooking my onions. Let me show you how I do that. Okay, so I uh, I peeled my onion, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut it up. Okay, can you see that? Okay, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do the slices. Not too thin, not too. I mean, I can't tell you what measurement, but use your best judgment. Okay, what is that? Quarter of an inch? Get a quarter of an inch or so straight down if you cut a little bit if they cut a little bit thicker don't worry about it i'm doing a whole onion i'm using the onion i'm using i believe is a yellow onion so it's kind of sweet it's natural sweet so you don't have to add anything to it okay and there you go okay there you go so and then i'm gonna cook these up i'm gonna cut them in four so i'm gonna cut let me get rid of this outside skin here i'm gonna cut this in four one and four okay and I'm gonna put it into my my pan in there these things and these onions are nice and juicy they're letting out this white juice yeah and it's uh it looks nice they smell good they're making me cry oh my god tears tears on my shoulders um here we go one and two there we go okay so we're gonna continue cooking these onions so folks I'm gonna slowly cook these onions I'm gonna break them down. It looks like a lot, but when you break them down, it won't be a lot. I put some olive oil in there, and I'm just gonna let them break down, okay? And uh, I'll put some salt in there because the salt helps bring out the moisture. Just a little tap, and the salt will make that sweetness come out of the onion, natural sweetness. And it should, okay, so I'm gonna cook these down. I'm gonna break them down. And uh, when they're broken down, I'm gonna cover them, let them cook in the moisture, moist. Yeah. And then we're gonna, once we have these onions done, then we'll start putting the patties together, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, folks, so you see my onions. My onions have turned translucent. They're nice and soft, they're broken down. I don't wanna burn them, so I'm gonna take them out in about a couple of minutes. Is this a little piece of skin there? There we go, take that out. Um, okay. So it looks like they okay. So it looks like they're ready. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them in a pan here. I'm gonna take them out like so. And I don't wanna I wanna keep I wanna keep uh the flavor in this pan. So let's see if we can get this okay. I wanna keep the flavor in the pan because I wanna cook my, my patties in here, okay? So stay with me and I'm gonna cook my patties in here. Okay, so in this pan. It has already grease and the onion flavor and everything. I'm going to start cooking the patties. And let me show you how I'm going to do this. And 
Let's get this patty out of the way here first. And we're gonna put the patties in there. Okay, so there it goes. So let's just start cooking. Okay, let's get another one. And let's start cooking these patties. These patties should be cooking up quickly because they're not that thick and up obviously. And uh, so, and they're gonna shrink a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put it in temptation in the middle. This way they don't plump up in the middle. That's the reason so the steam said to plump up in the middle. Okay, I don't want it to plump up. Um, and uh, let's get another one. Yeah, we got a bunch of patties. I mean, like, nine, like about nine patties came out. Okay, so I'm gonna cook these three because I don't want to cook these three for now. And then uh, flip them around. And then we're gonna start doing the, uh, we're gonna start putting it together. So folks, these things cook up real quickly. <clears throat> and you can see my four patties. You see they've shrunk a little bit. A little bit of water, but this is 80% lean, so it's not tricking that much. I'm gonna cook them up a little bit, a little bit, a couple more minutes, so they turn nice and brown. And I'm gonna set them to the side, and I'm gonna keep them warm. And then I'm gonna stop making my my pat, uh, patty melt. Okay. Okay, folks. So I'm got my I got the square pan, which I love to for these things, and I'm gonna start buttering my my bread. Okay. You can use rye bread. You can use. I mean. Italian, but this is Italian sliced bread and Last time I don't know. I, I just don't like the rye. We tried it with rye I rather stick to traditional either white bread or this Italian style white bread. Now, I'm putting a uh, butter on The I seen a recipe that calls for, uh, for mayonnaise actually on the bread uh, You know if you want to use mayonnaise, I guess you can use mayonnaise. I don't do mayonnaise So I'm not gonna put mayonnaise on my bread, but I see people doing actually I, I found uh Recipes to do grilled cheese with mayonnaise, you know on the bread. I don't know where that came from, but it's not gonna be me So I'm gonna put this slice down and I'm gonna put the other slice down as well Okay Okay, so I'm gonna butter this Really nice nice butter. I'm gonna put these both side Down facing down so that it can cook, you know, I could cook them evenly Okay, and then I'm gonna show you How I'm gonna do this so stay tuned so folks, let me show you how it's, this is done. I'm gonna put in a slice of provolone. You can use American or any cheese of your preference. I'm gonna put the patty in here. Okay, put the patty in there. So it's a grilled cheese marriage with it. Okay, then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put another piece of cheese. Actually, let me put some onions. I put some onions on top. Yeah, you go, look at that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it up with another piece of cheese. And this is going to become my patty melt, okay? Now, another piece of cheese. Flatten it down a bit. Very simple. It's a marriage between a grilled cheese and, okay? And a grilled cheese and, and, a, and a cheeseburger, okay? So, just make sure you don't want to burn the bread. Keep them even. I keep checking on them. That one's almost done. Onion there. You can put some onion on top of the cheese if you want, it's your preference. Uh, but this is the way we put this together, so stay tuned. So, folks, this is how it's looking. I got some tater tots here, and these are my patty melts taking place. So, stay tuned. Okay, folks, so the moment we've been waiting for, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna cut them in half, and uh, oh man, they look wonderful, they're nice and toasty. You're gonna, you're gonna hear the you're gonna hear the sound of this nice toasty bread being cut in half. Okay, so let's take one. Oh, let's take the, the first one I started cooking. Oh, okay, this is nice and toasty. Now listen good, and you're gonna hear the crunch. So there it goes. Here we go, we're gonna cut it straight down the line. You feel that crunch? Look at that. Look at this. Oh man, look at that. So, give me a second, and we're gonna go to the table, because everything looks better at the table. So folks, dinner is done. Let's go to the table and see how it looks. So folks, today dinner, it comes from an idea from uh, from diners. Go to diners, I used to go to diners for years, and I always would say, what the hell is a patty melt? It was always used in the children's uh, menu for whatever it is. But this is an adult, I mean, hey. But I guess because grilled cheese is for kids or something. But, but those eat grilled cheese. We have a grilled, you know, we make adult grilled cheese now. Bacon and tomato and ham and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I don't care if it's a kid's menu. It looks like a kid's menu because it's got tater tots, but we're gonna eat it. Um, so basically, it's a marriage between a grilled cheese and a cheeseburger. Very simple. Uh, there's, uh, you can use any kind of cheese you want. I used, tonight I used provolone cheese. So I put a slice of provolone cheese in it. 
And well, anyway, you saw the video, you saw how I did it, and I have my uh, my tater tots. Uh, I like tater tots, it reminds me of going in school. Even though I don't remember too many tater tots in school. Some people say they have tater tots all the time, but I have mashed potatoes in high school every day. So anyway, folks, uh, I'm gonna turn around the camera and show you. And uh, so, there we go, the school lunch. Uh, there goes the tater tots. These are nice, toasty, all right, uh, tater tots. And we have the patty melt. Okay, and then you see where I can turn the camera there. There you see the cheese is melted, the onions are in there. Oh man. So once again, it's a marriage between a grilled cheese and a cheeseburger. That's basically what it is. And you find this in diners and stuff. And uh, actually, if you on uh, on YouTube where I went, there's hundreds of menus of how to do this. And some call for mayonnaise. I used uh, butter on the bread, but some call for mayonnaise. I mean, there's so many different ways to make it. But uh, I went through a couple of recipes, and this was the, like one of the basic ones I, I found. And uh, we've had this before. And we like it, and you know, it's something you don't eat every day, but tonight we're gonna eat it. So stay with me because I'm gonna show you. So, folks, let's try this out. Piedmont's place, that's always been very crunchy. Yes. Here, you have to expect the onions, right? Nice and soft, the onions gives it a nice flavor. And other things a little different. That's great. So, folks, when you don't want to cook something with nice eating like this. I will, it is. You can use fries, you can use onion rings, whatever. As a side dish. But this is good. So I gotta go, tonight I gotta think of what's on for tomorrow. Anyway, I love you guys. Keep up the good comments, be nice, and uh, go to YouTube, watch my YouTube channel. And, uh, Howdy, man, we'll take the time, that's what it is. Good night.